Konnichiwa, snitches. I'm B, and this is Bro Takuza on the move. Okay, so my wife Kana and I, who's right there, we just finished watching an episode of Persona 5 the animation. And so we're going to take a field trip to Sangenjaya, which is Yongenjaya in the anime and video game. And we're going to go to Joker's home base, which is Cafe LeBlanc, and have a couple drinks and maybe something to eat. So we hope you enjoy watching as much as we hope to enjoy uh, having the experience. So stay tuned. I've never been a fan of RPGs, especially turn-based RPGs, but the feedback for Persona 5 was so positive, I figured I had to at least see what all the fuss was about, and I'm glad that I did. The music composed by Meguro Shoji is so spectacular, and that's what initially hooked me in. Now the great story and the fun gameplay is what kept me there. So with the anime starting, I figured it's golden week and I should take advantage of the great weather and finally hop on the train for a small pilgrimage, which was only about an hour. But, a funny thing happened on the way to Café Le Blanc. So, we got to the café. Turns out the café is not a café, it's a snack bar. Which, if you want to know what a snack bar is, I'd say Google it. It's kind of hard to explain. But we did find the batting cages, so come along and let's take a few swings. So, I'm a little bummed that I didn't get to go to the café and enjoy some real life treats. But at least I got to up my proficiency at the batting cages. And honestly, I'm a little bit better in real life than I am in the video game, which is kind of sad. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And there's so many other locations in Persona 5 that hopefully I'll get to explore some more in the near future and make a better video for you guys. But until then, I'm B. Sayonara, suckers.